When it comes to IEM slash wired earbuds for gaming and for everyday use, the Zeros are some of the best budget, but also just some of the best overall in-ears that you can get. The issue is, there's two of them. Let's talk about it. For this video, we're going to be looking at the Truth Ear Zeros versus the 7 Hertz Sound Note Zeros. These are two of the most popular and talked about IEMs in the gaming space right now. For the comparison, we're going to focus on the good and bad aspects of them from a gaming perspective, but I'm also going to touch on from just listening to music as well. This will help you understand the headphones as a whole. I'm a bad audiophile. I just called these things headphones. These are not headphones. These are IEMs. People will roast you for this. I'm probably going to get roasted for it, but you know what? It was a good take, so we're going to keep it. Now, going into this conversation, there's actually something very important that you need to understand. While yes, both of these IEMs were made by separate companies, they were actually tuned by the same person. His name is Critical. He is one of the most respected people in the audiophile slash headphone slash IEM space. He actually created a website where he shows the graphs of how all these headphones and IEMs measure from an EQ perspective. That is very complicated that I don't want to actually go into it, but I wanted to kind of tell you and show you what he does. Anything that he is a part of is going to meet a certain quality, and both of these IEMs are no different. The 7 Hertz Sound Note Zeros have one 10 millimeter dynamic driver. They have an impedance of 32 ohms. Basically, what that means is they are very, very easy to run. So, anything that you plug them into, you're going to be able to use them with no problems. They have a frequency response range of 10 to 20,000 hertz, and they use a detachable two pin cable. That way, if you want to change out the cable, all you need is whatever two pin cable that you want, and you can use it. Some of the good things about the sound notes one of the most important things that needs to be pointed out these things sound absolutely amazing especially for their price range as of the time of this recording on amazon they are listed for 22 dollars with Prime. I honestly do not think that you could find anything in the $20 price range that sounds as good as these do. For $22, with how good these things sound, plus the build quality and how many different ear tips you actually get in the box with it, these are amazing. Now, specifically for gaming, especially games like Apex, Fortnite, and any game that you need to hear the footstep audio, except for Call of Duty, I'll touch on that a little bit later, these are absolutely amazing for hearing footsteps because of how they are tuned and how they sound. Footstep audio and gunshots stick out very well with these IEMs, letting you know when an enemy is close. Some of the bad for gaming is that while, yes, you can hear the footsteps and gunshots very well, the imaging on them is not great. Now you might be asking what is imaging? Imaging is when you can actually hear exactly where something or someone is by the sound it is making going around you. Now I don't mean that these headphones are bad at imaging where like okay there's a guy on my right but I'm hearing him on my left. No that's not what I mean. I just mean it might be hard to like if you're someone on your right and they are moving forward on you it might be hard to track them moving forward on you but you're still going to be able to tell they're on your right. Another not great thing about the sound notes is they are not very quote unquote immersive. So if you're someone who likes to play an open world game or MMOs and you like the game to just engulf you and you want to feel like you are inside of the game, these aren't going to feel like that because they don't have a very large sound stage. All sound stages when I say that is it how wide the sound feels away from your head because it's actually pretty narrow and feels close to you. Again, it's not as immersive. The third thing about these headphones that I am considering not good is this specifically with Call of Duty, especially Warzone. With how bad the footstep audio is in that game, these actually do not help that situation at all. Because the bass footstep audio in that game is actually around 110 hertz, which is lower than what most footstep audio is at in other games, it is hard to hear the footsteps even more than what you would normally consider with that game and how hard it is to hear the footsteps. Now let's talk a little bit about the sound notes from a music aspect. The reason why I want to talk about them from a music aspect is it will help you understand the EQ profile of these earbuds. Now, as I was saying earlier, these sound very, very clean, especially for a $20 set of earbuds. To help you kind of understand what I'm talking about, I'm sure you've gone into a gas station or Walmart, picked up a $10 or $15 pair of earbuds because you left your earbuds at home and you're going on a $20 
20-hour road trip and you just need to have something in your ears. And you've put those things in your ears and you just all of a sudden understand that that does not sound very good. What I'm talking about is these, for, for $20, these sound absolutely amazing compared to something like that. Again, another thing like I was saying a while ago, these do not have a wide soundstage. Basically what that means is the music sounds very close to your head, so it doesn't sound like you're at a concert with a lot of different speakers all the way around you. It really sounds like you are inside of the music and the music is directly in your head. But now the most important thing about the sound notes is the mid are very, very prominent. Now, what I mean by this is higher male vocalists, female vocalists, and especially guitars all stand out a lot whenever you're listening to music with these headphones. Now, that doesn't mean that the lower end slash bass is not there. It's definitely there. It's just going to be a lot less than what you are used to from any sort of consumer type of headphones. Especially with things like kick drums, you can actually feel the earbuds trying to make that thump sound, but it's not a good feeling. It just kind of feels fake. Okay, now let's talk about the Truth Ear Zeros. The Truth Ears actually have two dynamic drivers, a 10 millimeter and a 7.8 millimeter. They only have an impedance of 10 ohms, which means they're even easier to drive than the sound notes, so anything will run them. They have a frequency response rate of 20 hertz all the way to 39,500 hertz, and they also use a removable two pin cable. Now the good things for gaming, one, these actually feel better for Call of Duty, especially Warzone, because they have a better lower frequency response. For those of you who don't know, inside of a headphone or an IM, there is this thing called a driver. That is what actually makes the sound that you're hearing. Because these actually have two, they have one that can actually focus on lower end sounds and one that can focus on upper end sounds. This allows the IEMs to create better, cleaner, lower end sound without it getting muddy. These IEMs also feel very wide for non-open back headphones. An open back headphone is something like this. This is the HD58X from Sennheiser that I use the most. They have an open back on the outside of the driver. This allows them to do many different things, but one of the major advantages of open back headphones is the soundstage can be created wider. I'm not gonna go down the rabbit hole of open back IEMs, especially in this video, because honestly, that's even a little bit over my head. But what you need to know is for IEMs, these sound very wide. Due to it having a wider feeling soundstage and a much better lower frequency response, these feel so much more immersive than the sound notes. The other thing that I am listing as a positive, even though they are more expensive than the sound notes, at the time of this recording, they are only $50 on Amazon. To have anything that sounds this good with this good of a build quality, not to mention it's also a dual driver IEM, it's all listed at $50. The value of this is absolutely astounding. Now from a gaming aspect, there's really only one major issue. It is how prominent the lower frequencies are. Yes, while this is a good thing for open world and MMO gaming, for competitive SPS, this is actually a bad thing because this can cover up some footstep audio. While yes, these actually can make the competitive FPS games feel more immersive, a lot of times with these style of games, Footstep audio is the number one thing that you are worried about. Now, what I'm not saying is that the footstep audio was all of the sudden gone in these games. The footstep audio is still 100% there, basically at the same level as the other. The only issue with these is there's now other types of audio that are competing for your attention. Let's talk about the truth ears from a music perspective. Now, I cannot say with 100% certainty that these are the best IEMs under $100, but from different reviews from different YouTubers that that I have watched. For the best bang for your buck, all the way up to $100, and some even say up to $150, these are the best pound for pound, dollar for dollar IEMs that you can get specifically for music. They sound absolutely wonderful and clean. The bass is there without being ridiculously overpowered. You can still hear the mids and the highs are just absolutely bright and filling. Again, the soundstage on these are absolutely amazing and this makes for a wonderful experience whenever you are just listening to music but you don't want to have on massive headphones. Now for the important question, which zero should you get? This comes down to two very important things. One, what is your use case? And two, what is your budget? Let's start with number two first, budget, because it is the absolute easiest. If your budget is between $20 and $25 and you are not going to budge off of that, just get the sound notes, order them, and be happy. 
you will enjoy them. You will have a hard, hard time finding anything, headphone, IEM, it doesn't matter what it is, that sound as good as these do at that price range. Now, if your budget is closer to $50, your use case is much more important in this situation. If you are only going to be using this for competitive FPS games that are not Call of Duty, I actually suggest the sound notes. Even though they are the cheaper of the two, for your specific use case, they actually are better specifically for footstep audio. And another reason why I love the sound notes is because I am a sound guy. I love mixing sound at live events. And because of how flat the EQ profile is on these, it makes it much better for micro adjusting EQs during these events. Now for basically everything else, I would suggest the truth ears. The truth ears are Definitely 100% the better overall IEM. They're better for gaming in Call of Duty. If you're an MMO open world player, you will absolutely love the immersion on these. Plus, if you're someone like me who likes to just sit and listen to music, these are absolutely fantastic for music listening. Now, while the Truth Ears are the better overall IEM, they do come in at over double the price of the sound notes. Is that worth it? In my opinion, if they fit your use case, yes, but that's for you to decide.